How's it going guys, Dr. Uh coming at you right before the opening that I have planned for you. I just had to do a huge shout out to a guy who I found on Reddit. Um, if you were on Reddit, you probably saw him shouting out to me with a, a basket full of Bakugan. That's what I'm about to open for you guys, uh, but he was a huge help. Um, he just likes my content and wanted to help out the channel and stuff like that. And so like he didn't upcharge me or anything, so uh, it, a lot of respect for the dude for doing that for me and going all through all the effort to send out everything to the post office and things like that. Uh, just a great guy. Uh, his name's uh, Jujub259 on Reddit. Uh, and then I'm gonna post his uh, Discord name down below so y'all can go hit him up. Uh, he's really cool dude, been talking to him for a little while. Uh, but I, I can't be more thankful for you, man. Uh, I, I know I've told you that a bunch of times in our messages, but you're the bomb. Uh, so because of him, y'all have this little two-part opening series for all the Wave 2, finishing off Wave 1 stuff, uh, like Cyndius and things like that. So the ones that y'all don't really see uh, too often yet. Uh, they're, also, they're starting to roll out across the country, uh, so some of y'all might already have them. Uh, but for me, uh, over here in Louisiana, I thought I wasn't going to get them for a while. Uh, but thanks to this guy, he made it possible. So y'all enjoy the video. See ya. How's it going guys, RXXC coming back at you with some more Bakugan figurine unboxings, but this time we have pretty much the whole line of the Wave 2 and or f completion of Wave 1 stuff. Uh, so meaning Trox Ultra, um, uh, just all those guys, Krakelios, Serpentis, Core, all those guys. I kind of got all that. The only thing I don't have is the diamond trucks so far uh we'll see how that goes but this is going to be a two-part video um i'm going to do them all at once since the single uh bakugan opening things aren't really working for y'all anymore it's cool i can adjust so we're going to do this but let's go ahead and get rolling all right i'm really excited about this stuff um i, I can't wait to open trucks because he's my favorite y'all know trucks is my boy but we're going to start here with the core mantanoid um so we've all seen uh mantanoid ultra uh this is his core version so he's just a little buggy boy, uh, but he is really cool. I actually like the way they designed him coming out of the ball. It's like he just kind of goes bleh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but let's try to break in here and see what we can do. Yeah, so I actually like Mantanoid's core version art better, I believe. Uh, we'll take a better look at it, but for now, from what I'm seeing, I like it. Uh, but let's go ahead and do our thing. Let's look at these cores. Uh, it's going to give us a shield trap. So minus 100B, uh, 100B for Ventus Heos plus three. That's not bad. He's Ventus, so good for him. Uh, but let's take a look. We just kind of fell out there at core Mantanoid. So uh, we got 500B base and two attack base, which is cool. And he's running a shield and a fist. Um, so there are a lot of things that work with Ventus to increase your damage. So uh, that could work. Uh, so, I don't know, he's interesting. He might be able to be something that we can we can work with a little bit. But there you have him. Uh, let's take a look at his figure. Come on. He's pretty solid. Who's that? He's heavy. He's a heavy box gun. All right. Um, wow, he's really simple to close. You just grab him and, oh, never mind. Huh. Maybe not. Oh, did I fool myself? Oh, head goes in. Wow, I thought it was gonna be simple. What do these do? It definitely looks like it just kind of does that, but it's not. Head in. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Uh, let's see if we can roll them out. Uh, that'll work. Uh, let's see. All right. Not so much there. There we go. Yeah, he just kind of pops out. Kind of a kind of a boring action on him, to be honest with you. But it's pretty cool. I I, I do like his design. I like how he's just kind of set up all small, and he just kind of folds together. You just grab his head. That's probably one that he just wants to close. He just pushes his head in and then smack. I say that, never mind. All right, anyway, 
Moving on, we have plenty of guys to open here. This one I'm also excited about because I love the design of this Bakugan. This is Chaos Serpentis, the core version. Uh, so we've seen Ultra Serpentis. Actually, there's one right here. So this is the Ultra. Uh, we'll open this here in a second. Uh, and this is gonna be the core. So they look almost completely different. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Uh, but we haven't seen these yet. Oop, Trox fell. He uh, got a little damaged in shipping, but he's okay. Let's bust this open and see what we got. Right. Regular Serpentees for Chaos. 300B, 3 attack. Uh, a little low, I think. I think 400's kind of the standard what we're looking for most of the time. Who's on top of the building? Something's up there. I don't know. Uh, but we got a Red Fist and a Red Shield, so let's take a look at those. Uh, right here. Um, Alright, so the red shield's going to give us Chaos Ventus plus 400. Is that what this was? Yeah, so these can kind of work together. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> right here. Uh, this is from the last, uh, the Mantanoid. Those kind of work together, so you can do that. Uh, and then a Fire Fist Trap here for minus 5B, 5 attack. Uh, but here's what I'm coming for. I want to see this guy. All right, guys, back. Sorry the cat went insane, uh, but this is a really awesome-looking Bakugan. The uh, facial features they gave him just look really mean and menacing. I uh, can't wait to see him in Darkest, but I love his design. He's kind of like sitting forward with his tail forward, so like you can imagine him kind of flying like this. It's pretty sweet. Uh, no feet to tickle, but boy, do we have some wings. Look at that. Uh, a lot of design on this ball form. Let's fold him up. Wow, he's kind of like Trox level of closing. That's pretty sweet. But a lot of design in the ball form. The ribs on his neck, on his tail. Very cool. Um, let's see. A little mini matrix with the four things we have. Try to roll them out. Okay. All right. There we go. Did I cover it? I don't think I did. Anyway, so that is Core Serpentees. I'm loving this. I like how this whole kickstand kicks up for him to sit up straight. It's pretty uh, cool, and it's not too invasive of the design, so very neat. Man, he closes easy. It's kind of loose feeling, too. He's a very light Bakugan. I think he curves pretty well if you put his weight to the side. Yeah, so pretty cool curve there. All right. Whew. I'm ready for Trox, guys. I hope you are, because, man, is he gorgeous. He's got so much cool design. He's huge. I mean, he's massive. This is the little Vanthanoid we just did. He's huge. So, uh, I'm not wasting time on this one. We're busting it open. I've been wanting to play with this toy <laughs> as an adult for so long now since I've seen it. Very excited. Oh, and there's the Trox Ultra card. Yes, sir. Indeed. Pop that out. There he is. I'm coming for you. Don't worry. Uh, all right, let's do the cores real quick. What does he come with? What does this card come with? A shield and a helix. I think that's kind of what his core does, maybe. Uh, but the shield is a plus 300, which is all right. And the helix is a plus 500 minus one attack, which is okay with me. Uh... I like both of those cores, so we're gonna keep those off to the side. Trox, freaking ultra. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the art. This is his, the character from the show, what we're all used to seeing by now. Uh, this is Trox Ultra. But uh, we got a shield, uh, red shield and helix, 300 B power base, and then a one attack base. Um, but if you win, you can enter jars a card in your hand uh, uncharged, so that's interesting because you are losing your hand advantage when you do that. Uh, so we're definitely gonna test this out to see if this is useful. Um, but 300B and one attack is low. So um, we're gonna have to work on that because <laughs> I just really wanna use Trox. Um, but he has this crazy flipping motion thing, which I think is the point that he's gonna knock people off a lot. So maybe that's gonna be the key to using him. But what does he come with? Oh, deafening roar which is three uh, energy to play, and minus 600B. So very uh, strong attack uh, or defensive card, if you want to call it. So very cool. But now I'm ready to play 
with my dinosaur toy very much. We are not gonna break this. Scissors coming out. I refuse to break this. Uh, ah. I'm here. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so ready to play. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is great. I love his little T-Rex arms. I think they're manual though, so when he actually pops out, you don't actually get to see him every time. Uh, his tail, his legs are just so meaty, and look at the tickle on this Ultra Trox. Even the screw placement doesn't even mess with the design for me. I think it's cool. It really looks like a, you know, kind of looks like a Zoid <laughs> from back in the day. Uh, his feet are kind of loose here. Uh, but 300B on the thigh there, and let's uh, try to fold him up. I've seen videos with people trying, but we're going to try to figure it out. I feel like that's a thing. Um, I probably could have looked at this a little better. Uh, yeah, here we go. Feet. We'll do that. We'll do this, and he's in. He's a very uh, beefy feeling Bakugan for sure. Uh, he's definitely heavy, uh, but he does have this really cool flipping motion, I think, if I can get it to work here. Uh, which way does it want me to roll him? This way, but let's see. Okay, I, I don't think I've done one first yet. Here we go. Uh, he grabbed it. Whoa. <laughs> he does like a whole backflip. <laughs> that was insane. That was really cool. And he picks it up with his mouth like that. That's awesome. I love trucks, guys. This is great. I have to get the video going. Let's keep going. I could sit here and look at this all day. I'm going to put him right here so I can't look at him all day. Uh, but let's look at the Serpentees. We have seen this before, so this will be a quick one. Um, this is just a Ventus version of it. And I don't know what the stats are. That's why I'm curious. Or why I'm even opening it on camera. 403 is not awful. I'll, uh... I can take that. I don't think there's upgrades out for this yet. So, it's not really usable at the moment. Um, but, uh... I do still love Serpentee's Ultra's design. We're not doing this again. Come on. This stuff. Okay. Uh, but here is the Ventus version of Serpentee's. Uh, we all know and love this one already. So I'm not going to waste too much time with him. Uh, but, you know, I love my Ventus guys. So we'll just kind of hang them out right there. But let's look at his cards. Uh, his cores are... Plus 50B, one one attack, and minus 400. So, pretty standard things there. And... So, Serpentis Ultra. Cool art. I like it. I love the green anyway. But Crushing Grasp is a 6-drop for minus 1,000 B power, which is pretty nuts, uh, but expensive at the same time. So, uh... Use it if you want, I guess. It's Ventus, so you can ramp up the energy for it. There you go. All right. All right, into the meaty, meaty goods of the last two for this episode. So, Pyrus Garganoid. He's got really cool coloring. They use the orange on his tail and the green on his wings for the accents, and I think his eyes are green. Yeah. So they did really well on the coloring for this. Um, and again, we've seen Garganoid three times now, um, and I like his stats too, the 300 for four attack, uh, because that is doable in Pyrus, so that's something to look at. So, plus 50B, plus one attack, and plus 200B, uh, okay, pretty standard stuff. Let's look at his card, so we've seen this card, this is just recolored. Pretty much, they're just a red Garganoid. Um, but 300B for attack, that's pretty nice. And it gives us Impact Laser, which is pretty good card. Uh, three energy for seven attack. 
which is pretty cheap for that much help on your damage. Um, but cool stuff. Very cool stuff. But let's look, let's look at him. He is a good looking guy. Uh, I think he normally just kind of... Yep. All right, so we've seen Garganoid, but this coloration is awesome. They did a really good job on this one. That, just the accents of the green. I think it's gonna look really cool in ball form. Let's check them out real quick. Uh, uh, what? Oh God, I did it wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Forgot to crank the feet all the way back up. There we go. All right, close them up. Feet under the little nubbies. Nubbies. Legs, legs, wings, and... Mm. Oh, no. All right. Well, you know. You saw it. You saw it first, but I'm not going to do that to you. Here we go. I can do it quick. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. There we go. Here, here, here. Close it. There you go. All right. So that's it. The coloring on this ball form is awesome. I like the pirate stuff they're doing with the like neon green. It's really interesting. And of course we gotta watch Garganoid do a flip because that's the best part about him. There's a flip. And he stayed on camera, so good for me. But awesome Garganoid there. Uh, we'll drop him there. But now, the other main event is Krakelios. Krakelios. I think that's how you say it. I've been seeing other people say Krakelos. Krakalos, I don't like that. Krakelios sounds epic and awesome. Like the Kraken. Uh, but he's really cool. Uh, I've been waiting to look at this guy for a long time. Uh, but let's, I'm busting him right open. Let's see. The Squid Boy himself. His card art's sick because he's halfway underwater, halfway out. There, he's in there for a second. Get out of here. Pop, pop. Core, core. Uh, two traps. Interesting. Uh, minus three attack and minus three B. Minus one B. Uh, interesting to have two traps with him. Uh, but we have bum, bum, bum. Krakelios Ultra next to an oil rig. Oh god. Next to an oil rig in the water with halfway in with his big old fins and he's got like this shark head on his body, which is pretty awesome. Really cool. But uh, red shield, green fist, 400 B, 400 attack. So just good stats. Just good stuff normally. Uh, that's like the uh, average, I guess, right now, or the average you want to have. But it comes with surge of light, which is a two drop for plus four attack, which uh, is okay. Good card. Um, but I'm ready to look at this dude. Wow, he's awesome. There's a bunch of little, he's a bunch of, there's a bunch of moving parts on him. You can hear it. <laughs> there's a bunch of little like rivets and things to keep him bursting out. I mean, that's the most action I've seen off of a Bakugan, just hinge wise, since I started this. I don't think anybody else is that detailed in like movement. But I mean, all this stuff. All the stuff moves. It's awesome. His head even tilts down and moves. Almost kind of opens his little mouth like that. Little things on the side of his face. I mean, I don't even know what to tickle. There's no, there's no feet. There's just tentacles. Just a body tickle. Feel me? No. All right. Anyway, um, I have no idea how to close this thing. I think these. Oh, his head goes down. Pop like that, and then he kind of closes up a little bit. He looks really cool like that, actually. That's nifty. Anyway, uh, I know these come up in a way such as that. This tail closes. Am I doing it? Uh, no, those those are going to go in first, I think. First. Oh, those actually pull his head down, and then this closes. Oh, I'm a, I did it. Oh, nope. There he is. So he's really cool in ball form because his little creepy eyes are kind of hanging out there. Uh out there in the front 
really neat. But this is the Chaos version. I know there is a Aquas version coming. Uh, and that one's going to look really cool. Because that's the one we see on the arts all the time for the cards. Uh, so he's awesome. But let's look at a roll from him. Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, he gets a little pop open. And he picks it up on his head. So pretty standard for the Ultras. Uh, but Crocellios is awesome. Anyway, that's it for the uh, first part of this Wave 1 finisher, Wave 2 uh, opening. Uh, I got six more coming. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got five more coming. Um, uh, and that's going to be in the next video, guys. So make sure you come back. If you like this video, make sure you like it for me down below. Uh, check me out on Twitter at uh, Ragin Triple X Cajun, uh, just like the channel name. Uh, I've been posting stuff there. There's been a couple of leaked pictures and stuff. I'm trying to stick out there and you know just give you all information. Uh, but other than that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next video, guys. See you later.